This demand motion yucca, a robotic lawnmower with the world's first self-emptying sweeper kit. That's right, this thing will run around your yard automatically picking up grass clippings and leaves and dump it in a designated area all automatically. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you five things that you're gonna to wanna to know about this before you decide to buy it or not. Let's jump into the video. I wanna thank my motion for sending this over to me for a review. Just a heads up, they did send it my way, but they did not send me a script. So if it sucks, you'll definitely know. And if it's awesome, well, you'll know that too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. It truly helps out. Now the Yuka model is like the brother of the Lumba 2, which I reviewed on the channel. Absolutely love that robotic lawnmower. It has all wheel drive and it's definitely the flagship of the Momotion lineup. I have the Yuka mowing this side of the fence and then I have the Luba mowing this side of the fence. There they go. But the Memotion Yuka has something that the Luba can't do, and that is with the sweeper kit. But we'll talk more about the sweeper kit in just a moment, but I really want to focus on the cutting ability of the Yuka because this is a more affordable option for a lot of people. Keep in mind, this does not have all-wheel drive, so you have those steep, steep slopes or those areas where you're going to need all-wheel drive, your divots in your yard, then stick with the Lumba 2. I highly recommend that. If you have a pretty flat yard, the Yuka is definitely going to be a home run for you as it does an amazing lawn mowing job and it's much, much cheaper. Now keep in mind the cutting height is manually adjusted on the machine itself. It's a little dial on top. If it's all the way down, you will definitely scalp your yard. I found out a hard way, but just grass and it grew back. And overall, I'm really happy with its mowing capability. It leaves the nice straight lines, avoids areas that designate as a no-go zones. It can do shapes if I really wanted it to, and it does a fantastic job. All my neighbors love when it's out there running. They're just sit there and watch it and we can just sit back have a drink and let the robot mow the lawn it's absolutely fabulous now underneath the hood it has those two spinning discs with five blades each so it has a nice wide cutting area i think it's like between like 12 and 13 inches this has two spinning discs and keep in mind that you will have to maintain this you will have to change the blades Occasionally, you will also have to wash it down and get any stuck grass or debris that might be in there. So it's not totally maintenance free. You will have to maintain it every few cuts. But this is still a huge time saver and I absolutely love having these smart lawn mowers. Now, if you're new to these new types of robotic lawn mowers, gone are the days of where you have to put a perimeter wire you have to dig up your yard that is totally gone it is so simple to set this up you simply plug in the rtk station keep in mind the rtk station needs to see the skies 360 degrees of the skies so the best place to mount the rtk station is going to be on your roof but if that's not a possibility, you just have to find some place in your yard where you're able to have power and be able to have 360 degree vision of the skies. Keep in mind, you can't put this next to our house or next to a tree. Say for instance, if the tree is 20 feet tall, you need to be at least 20 feet away. If your house is 15 feet tall, you need to be 15 feet away. So keep that in mind, you need to have access to the open skies for this to work properly. And then to set this up, all you need to do is walk the perimeter. You can have multiple zones where you can say one side of your front yard is one zone, the other side is the second zone, and then the entire backyard is a third zone. You can have multiple zones. It's all up to you where you can manage that all in the app. And you can tell the robot to go mow zone one on Monday, zone two on Tuesday, whatever you prefer. You really want to keep the robot busy. You don't want to do like a regular mow once a week for the entire yard. You want to do a little bit every single day. 
Now, also keep in mind, if you have a fence between your front yard or backyard or anywhere else, you will have to leave that open for the robot to get through. You can designate a path where it will be able to know exactly where to get from one zone to the next zone. So that's really cool. You can also make a designated area where you want the sweeper to dump, which I'll talk more about in a moment. So, and then you can have a path to the dumping zone. So all this customization is all done in the app and it works quite well. In addition to getting a signal from the RTK station, so it knows where it is in your yard, if it loses that signal, it does have this AI vision, it has a camera and sensors built onto the robot, and it will kind of detect where it is in the yard and avoid any obstacles, and it'll try to continue mowing for a certain amount of time. Hopefully that signal will come back from the RTK station and it will complete your yard. Now this communicates over Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and 4G. Obviously, if you're close, you can control this via Bluetooth. You can actually remote in and like steer it with your app and your phone, which is really cool. But for day-to-day -day operations and communication, you want to make sure you have good Wi-Fi outdoors. And if you don't have a good Wi-Fi access point outside, then you definitely want to get a 4G SIM card. I'll leave a link down below to the program that I have. It's about... I think 10 to $12 a month gives me about two gigs of data. That way I can communicate with the robot when it's at extended distances away from my house. Not that I have to communicate with it that often, but when I want to, when I need to, then I need to have that ability. And since I don't have great Wi-Fi, you know, more than 50 feet away from my house, that 4G SIM card definitely comes into play, and I highly recommend that you also get one for your robot. And finally, let's talk about this self-emptying sweeper mower kit. Now, this is an additional purchase, and it's not required. And I think for most people, unless you have a super, super small yard, this is probably not worth it. It's really cool. It's a great concept. But I think for most people, it's not going to be extremely useful. It's going to be more work than anything. It does work as they intended, but the bag is so small and it's just really not realistic. Yes, it can pick up clippings, it can pick up leaves. It's not really going to pick up sticks. And keep in mind, it is a maintenance item. They include an extra battery. There's a big motor here. They have a weight on front to kind of offset the weight of your debris in the back to the weight in the front. But there are times they actually kind of pulled up the grass. Like here is one example. I couldn't believe that this happened, even though it worked. My yard is just way too big for this, and it would have to be out here constantly it missed a lot of stuff and it just would have to run 24 7 but if you have a really small yard with very few leaves and maybe you're just using this for grass clippings just to kind of help get some of that up off the grass it does work i just don't see a huge need for it unless you have a very very small yard i love that you can designate a drop zone and it goes to that drop zone it will lift it up and empty itself absolutely beautiful concept but in reality day-to-day -day operation i don't think you get enough juice for the squeeze if you know what i mean but maybe i come up with another solution with a bigger bag and something a little bit more efficient and better at picking everything it crossed over its path but it misses a lot, and it's not for your fall cleanup. This thing's just way too small for any standard size yard, unless it's really, really small and you have very few trees or leaves blowing in. It's just not that efficient, even though it's a really, really, really cool concept. And it does work. It's just not something in the real world that I would say is very efficient. But when it came to mowing, absolutely great. I love that you can set it and forget it. You can go out every day, do a different zone, different section. And it is definitely a huge time saver. I absolutely love the mowing capability of the Yuka at a more affordable rate than the Luba. So definitely home run there. But like I said, sweeper, uh, 
you can probably pass on. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you love unsponsored, unfiltered videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stop charging.